When airlines purchase brand new aircraft straight from the manufacturer, they sometimes have multiple engine options to mull over. Variations in engine choice allow carriers to make strategic decisions and purchase planes tailored to their specifications. But what happens if an airline wants to change engines after it has taken delivery? Well, it's first very important to note that switching engine manufacturers is rare. After an aircraft has been configured to a particular engine, it is both difficult and costly to change the engine to a completely different manufacturer. For example, if an airline were to look at switching their Boeing 787 Rolls-Royce engines to General Electric, the process would likely prove far too uneconomical. Although it can be done, it usually won't be worth the cost and effort for all parties involved. Changing engines to an entirely new manufacturer necessitates major changes elsewhere across the plane, including the mounting pylon, wiring or ducting, instrumentation and avionics systems. For these reasons, it is extremely rare for an aircraft to switch engine manufacturers after it has been delivered. It has been done before, but in almost all cases it just wouldn't be economical for airlines or manufacturers to carry out such a procedure. Upgrading engines is a relatively straightforward process if it's from the same manufacturer. Engine companies like Rolls-Royce and General Electric are always improving their engines, with newer models offering improvements in key areas like fuel efficiency and speed. As such, airlines will be eager to equip these new engines and make long-term savings, provided the switch is economical. Changing engines can still be costly, but airlines and lessers can get favorable deals on engine maintenance or switching if they have an agreement in place. Engine manufacturers are increasingly offering original equipment manufacturer or OEM contracts where maintenance and repair work is handled by the manufacturer rather than by the airline or a third party. Under an OEM agreement, engine companies may perform a complete switch of engine, but it all depends on the nature of the agreement. In the event of faulty engines, manufacturers will be bound to switch out engines if necessary, but upgrading to a new, more efficient engine type would only be covered if included in the agreement. Otherwise, airlines will be fronting the full cost of the replacement themselves. In some cases, there's no choice but to change engines due to mechanical issues. The most high-profile case in recent times involved Rolls-Royce and its Trent 1000 engine. The Trent 1000 originally had problems with premature wear in its engine blades before Rolls-Royce addressed the issue. However, further problems were discovered in 787 Dreamliner Trent 1000 engines, forcing EASA to issue an airworthiness directive. In response, Rolls-Royce carried out engine changes for some of its customers, including over 100 engine changes for Virgin Atlantic's fleet of 787s. Do you think plane makers should make it easier to switch between different manufacturers? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.